Hallå, ja! Nej. you're doing well I am fine myself I haven't haven't had that much sleep so I don't know if I'm even talking proper English Alex has been having a cold and all that stuff you know so <sighs> tough times but today we're gonna do something fun we're gonna mount a TV to the ceiling right here and some of you probably remember that I did that in my old office but let me show you so the solution that I did here was that we made some sort of like mechanisms so that we can take this down and uh, have it like not taking up any space whenever I'm not using it. There's a lot of things going on, <laughs> even though I just did my studio tour video. So I might have to do another one. <laughs> what do you think about that? Should I? Do drop a comment down below. One of the upgrades that I didn't include is this table because this is a regular regular desktop from Ikea basically. It costs like around 250 bucks. And then I bought some cheap wheels on a hardware store and just screw them into the legs of this. But check this out. I mean, having this table whenever you're shooting some product videos, mm, gold and stuff. Well, 30, my man. 20 centimeter rapids. You think you can fix it? Yes. Yes. Name us your demo. So those of you wondering if I'm using a uh, ND filter when I'm shooting this? <laughs> yes, I am. So we've got our pipes welded into the square square pipe? Do you say square pipe? I don't know. In Swedish we actually say fyrkantsrör, which basically means directly translated square pipe. And uh, we did this because I didn't have any other material that I could use because we wanted to have longer pipes, but had to use the one that I bought earlier today, which hopefully is gonna work good. Still having some high hopes on this construction, but uh, I guess time will tell. <laughs> Are you happy with the result? Yeah, very good. That looks good. You know, the worst part in the summer is that since this is in an attic, it gets extremely hot in this office space. But out here in the studio, it's actually pretty cool because I insulated the roof, the ceiling a lot more. So here it's actually a very, very comfy temperature right now. <laughs> Sauna, as Teppu Hapoya would say. <laughs> I've been fixing a lot here in this corner lately and trying to turn this into my 
sort of like second setup uh, that I can use when I'm shooting my videos. And so far, I think it's actually turning out pretty good. There is still a couple of things to do left here, such as uh, doing some sound treatment because the echo is horrible. Oh! I didn't actually mean to record videos here to begin with, but now that I've been fixing a little bit, you know, poking around in the studio, I feel like why not make this into a second setup that looks good and feels good and that you can actually sit out here and work. And right now I have my old trustworthy iMac that I bought in 2009. It's unfortunately I can't do any edits on it because it's it's just not powerful enough. I've also mounted two Nanlite Pavo tubes to the back here, which I think turned out really, really good because this light is mm. <laughs> And I've also mounted two of them here as well. So when I'm shooting from this angle, I actually think it looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, the audio, oh, hey, oh, questionable. <laughs> In this corner, I want to have some sort of like storage function. And I'm thinking that the same kind of like wall uh, pegboard that I got right here is going to look very good outside there as well. Oh, it's really hot inside the office. Jesus. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of questions on what this is and what, what, like, what kind of pegboard system it is that I'm using. And this is actually from a Swedish company that's called Elfa. It is very, very expensive, but it's also very, very good. And I don't know if they are sold anywhere else in the world, but if they are, I can highly recommend it. Whoa, that looks good. We just need to shorten this down because it's just a little bit too long. Ta da! Sturdy. I actually think I bent it. Maybe not built for like a hundred kilo dude. Perfect. I'm also thinking that we're gonna mount this to the side here so that we have a charging station. I'm not, not really sure if I'm going to use my MacBook Pro or my Mac Mini out here just yet, but I'm leaning towards my Mac Mini because I want to have my MacBook Pro as my main computer for a while longer, mainly because some of the plugins that I use on a daily basis, such as these like callouts, doesn't work on the M1 yet, but soon. Either way, we are going to install this monitor, which is a Dell 34 inch ultra wide. And the one that I'm currently using in the office is actually a Dell ultra wide 38 inch that I'm really satisfied with so far and no issues at all running this together with a Mac mini or my MacBook Pro. Works wonders. So having another one, which is slightly smaller out here in the studio. It's gonna be feeling like you're working on the same kind of monitor and don't have to do the different kind of color grading and that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, still, still need to fix this, but other than that, it looks good, right? Now the only thing left is again, the echo, because the echo is super, super annoying. 